Never expose yourself unnecessarily to danger, a miracle may not save you, and if it does, it will be deducted from your share of luck or merit. Voltage hunting at idle run operation, troubleshooting. Refer your equipment specific drawings and manuals. In this video drawings and diagrams are for example only. For better results and after checking it's better to make video of the area so that it can be further examined carefully. Alternator components arrangements looking horizontally from AVR side. Current transformer T1, T2, and T3. Cables to ACB in control room. Transformer L1. Transformer T6. ABR. Bypass resistor R48. Rectifier module V29. Thyristor V28 Transformer T4 Capacitor banks looking from top Overview Cables to ACB in control room Terminals X1 to X7 or more Current transformer T1, T2 and T3 Transformer and AVR side. Transformer L1. Transformer T6. AVR. Transformer T4. Capacitor bank. Looking from non drive end side. Current transformer T1. T2 and T3 Transformer T6 T4 L1 AVR and capacitor bank side rotating diode V2 and varistor U Connection F plus and F minus to exciter if voltage is hunting when generator engine is running ideal without load then first step to check cables. Please check insulation of equipment. Control cables from alternator side to main switchboard, yard cables. Sometimes cable lines are rubbing each other due to vibration causing resistance drop. All the cables are to be checked one by one by hand carefully and Insulation shall be improved on damaged locations. If voltage is hunting on load, please remove the cable ties and check looseness of all cable line in electrical equipment on alternator. Pull the all cable connector carefully by hand one by one. If cable ties are in place then pulling of cables may not be effective hence cable ties must be removed. All the cable connection should be fixed and tighten and refix the cable ties. If voltage is hunting on load, check the cable connection between main current transformers T1, T2 and T3 output and rectifier transformer T6 check whether there would be any coloring point by excessive heating with rectifier transformers or on connectors or anywhere else check for any open circuit with the cables or pins between the output terminals U2 V2 and W2 of reactor L1 and the primary winding terminals, 1U11V1 and 1W1, of rectifier transformer, T6. Check the cable connection and resistance of coil winding for droop transformer T4 and compare with normal one. Check capacitor cables. Check all cables like diode, 
rectifier, thyristor, and others. Hopefully the fault will be located in one of the cables but in case if problem persists. AVR adjustments may be needed which is described in next video second part of the series. Your valued comments shall be highly appreciated. Thank you.